service casino in the cards for Long Island. While some are in favor, there are also a lot of people who are opposed to a plan to build a gaming facility at the Nassau hub. That includes Hofstra University, whose campus is right next door to the proposed site. News 12 Long Island investigative reporter Rachel Yankunis joins us with the latest. And you spoke with officials at the school, Rachel. That's right, Joe, because as you mentioned, Hofstra is right across the street from this proposed site. And the university president says that she and the board of trustees are against any casino project there. The Nassau Coliseum in Uniondale, surrounded by dozens of acres of blacktop. Las Vegas Sands believes it's the perfect site for their multi-billion dollar entertainment and casino proposal. But across the street, Hofstra University strongly opposing the project. I have concerns about, you know, a lot of our students work and um, if they become addicted or even just start to enjoy it, they could easily lose money that they have, you know, worked hard for. So it could have a real snowballing effect on their education and their ability to move forward in life. Las Vegas Sands is buying for one of three downstate New York gaming licenses. The company plans to take over the lease of the Nassau hub to build a new resort hotel, entertainment and casino complex if approved by the state. But Dr. Poser says those plans fall short of the hub's true potential. I think it's also uh, an opportunity to educate the community about what typically happens uh, with casinos. And typically they, they peak and they bring in a lot of money, a lot of tax revenue for a few years, um, and then it tends to turn down. Now, traffic is also a big concern, and tonight there is a virtual hearing on the Nassau Hub Transit Initiative. The plan is aimed at easing traffic around the Coliseum and adding more LIRR connections. Joe? Yeah, traffic is always a concern in that area. I'm sure people have a lot to say tonight.